Bois on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. But we've been given a lineup which suggests a 3-6-1 formation. Jim. Well, in truth, this system can very quickly transform itself into 5-4-1. The widest midfielders will certainly operate as wing-backs once they have to defend, and so either way, this seems to be a move towards the conservative and prioritising a clean sheet, but it certainly doesn't take away from what they can achieve at the other end. So that's got things on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power. He's had a shot! Oh, that was no routine save. Moore simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Thiago. Thiago plays it towards the front. And that has put a stop to that. Mepham tries to get it forward quickly. Fabinho gets into the right position to intercept. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And it's more. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Alexander Arnold drives it forward. Jordan Henderson. Konate. And the counter is on. A really good feat from him. More. A real chance if he can get through. <laughs> Robertson sends it forward. And the defence can get it clear. Lerma, and it's more. Lerma. That's good defending, very good defending. More! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. And there is the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Bournemouth can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Loose ball, who's going to get there? It's on a plate, goes for goal! Alexander Arnold gets rid without sophistication. Ball's loose, who's getting there? That's a good ball to find him. It's anyone's ball. Billing gets it back. Looks to drop one in. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside.
Keeper sends it forward. Hoists it forward. Lerma. Solanke shapes the shot! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Bournemouth take the lead. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. It's being played forward. Liverpool showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, a hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, they can break here. Now, can he capitalise? Tries a shot! Bournemouth are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Looking to break out here. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. It's nothing. Solanke certainly could have and should have made more of that. And it's played forward. And there goes the final whistle. Bournemouth, hold on. It's a narrow streak. Good luck, some judgment. One nil the score at the final whistle. Well, this game looked to have